We're going to explain how to access the slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash directory on your Android device. This directory is essentially your phone's internal storage, where most of your app's data, downloaded files, and other important information are stored. However, directly accessing it isn't as straightforward as it might seem due to Android security measures. Let's break down a few approaches. One, using a file manager app. This is the simplest and safest method. Many file manager apps are available on the Google Play Store, such as Solid Explorer, FX File Explorer, or Total Commander. Download and install one of these apps. Once installed, open the app. You should see a directory structure that includes your internal storage, usually labeled as internal storage, device storage, or similar. Inside this, you'll find the equivalent of slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash. You can then browse and manage files within this directory just like you would on a computer. Remember that some files might be hidden or require specific permissions to access. This is the recommended approach for most users as it's user-friendly and less prone to causing system errors. Two, using ADB, Android Debug Bridge, for developers. If you're comfortable with command line tools and have developer options enabled on your phone, usually found in settings about phone software information, then repeatedly tap build number. You can use ADB. First, enable USB debugging in developer options. Then, connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. On your computer, open a command prompt or terminal window and navigate to your ADB directory. The command ADB shell will give you a shell access to your Android device. After this, you can use the CD command to navigate to the slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash directory. For example, typing CD slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash download will take you to the downloads folder. From there, you can use commands like ls to list files, cp to copy files, mv to move files, and others. This method requires technical knowledge and is not recommended for beginners, as incorrect commands can potentially harm your device. Three, understanding permissions. Remember that you may not have access to all files and folders within slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash. Many apps store data in private directories, protecting user privacy. Attempting to access these files without proper authorization can lead to errors or even security vulnerabilities. Also, be cautious when deleting files from this directory, as this could potentially corrupt applications or remove critical system files. Always back up your important data before making any significant changes. Four, root access, not recommended. Rooting your Android phone grants you elevated privileges allowing you to access and modify almost everything on the system, including slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash. However, rooting can void your warranty, compromise security, and potentially brick your device if done incorrectly. It's strongly discouraged unless you're an experienced user who fully understands the risks involved. Rooting is generally unnecessary for simply accessing files. In summary, using a file manager app from the Google Play Store is the safest and easiest way to access the contents of slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash on your Android device. ADB is an option for more technically inclined users, but it carries a higher risk of causing issues if misused. Avoid rooting your device unless absolutely necessary. Always exercise caution when dealing with system.